Uh, I think he's, um, well, he's definitely a young quarterback. You know, I think he plays with a lot of passion. You know, he's not scared to tuck it and, uh, and run. He doesn't run away from contact either. So, you know, you, when you're dealing with a guy like that, you got to be wary for, you know, him you know, uh, coming out of pass coverage, you know, first responders to the scramble and things like that. Trajan, can you answer that too? Sam Howell. Uh, the quarterback? Uh, yeah. I, think he, I think he's a good quarterback. Uh, I haven't really watched a lot of film on him, but uh, for what I've seen, I know, I know that he's very consistent with the ball and, you know, he can, he can tuck it and run at times and I feel like he's a good quarterback. I think we'll have to come to play Saturday and I think we're going to be ready. What differences did you notice with watching them this year compared to last year? Um, I think that they do what they do well. The same thing they did last year, you know, they're going to run the ball, you know, they, they really like their backs. So they're going to um, do everything they can to keep the ball in their uh, playmaker's hands. So it always starts with the run. You know, if they can open up the run, then they can open up a lot of things. You know, that's college football for you. So um, from last year to this year, that's, that's the same thing that I see. You know, they got some veteran guys at that position. So, you know, that's our first thing as a defense. Our, our thing has always been to stop the run first and deal with everything second. Shaq, how'd you guys, what'd you guys do with the extra time? How, how long did it take to put away that Florida loss and move on? Um, that two questions. Um, now with the extra time, we really just, you know, practice. And on those days that we did have off, you know, we're wondering what the storm was going to do, you know, preparing for that. You know, I was calling home to my family because they, they're supposed to hit there too. But um, it didn't take long to put away the Florida, Florida game, you know. Press on. That's the only thing we've been talking about. You know, we can't sit and, and sulk on that. We've never been a team to sulk. So we just move on and look forward to the next one Saturday. Check, are you pleased with how the team has responded the, this past week and a half? Yes, sir, I am. I think, I think we've, res we've responded well, you know, putting together a good week of practice and still continuing to do so. I think that, um, I think we're doing a really great job. How, what was it like with the hurricane? I was, Manny Diaz was just talking about the hurricane and the uncertainty and not knowing, and you guys have been through this before. What, what was that like for the team? I mean, it was an up and down time for the team, I mean. We didn't really know what was going to happen, you know what I mean? So, uh, I mean, it was one day they was telling us that we were going to practice at this time, and the next day they were telling us we were going to practice at this time. So, right. I mean, it was up and down, but I feel like we, we, we prepared for it well, and, you know, we got back into practicing and doing what we do every day. Yeah, you know, we just had to prepare, you know, going to get your gas, going to get your snacks, you know, the, <laughs> the power go out, you know, then having to come to meetings. You know, I think the team did a, a tremendous job with that, though, because it's, it's really hard, like you said. It's really, you know, uncertain. So... I think we did a great job transi transitioning and all those things. Zach, I guess you, you guys don't have as much time to like watch TV and be glued to the TV to see what the thing is doing? No, no. We, we came in each day. Um, Coach Diaz will explain to us, you know, show us the most recent and uh, most reliable information on the storm. Mm -hmm. Go to practice after that. You can check it on your phone for a little bit, but uh, we did a lot of transitioning. That's how I can say yeah. it. And now it's moving yeah. north. Yeah, yeah moving north. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got family up there. This question for, for both of you guys. Is there any extra motivation? I know we're always looking for storylines. We're just stupid sports writers. But, you know, people look at it from the outside and say, well, Manny Diaz is facing his former boss, the guy who fired him at Texas. Is there any extra motivation for you guys as a defense being Manny's guys to, hey, we really got to beat North Carolina this week to maybe get a little revenge for Manny? Um, ask Coach Diaz, no comment. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I yeah. feel like, I mean, our, our goal is to go out there and win this game. You know, that's that's been our goal every single game as a defense, as an offense. Just go out there and win, man. You know, we don't get too caught up into everything until Coach Diaz playing with this coach and that coach. Mm -hmm. We just go out there and play. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out there and play fast, play hard, try to get the W. That's what we want. Hey, Trajan, there were some plays in the Florida game where mm -hmm. you just really jumped off the film. Yeah. Just the, the effort you were putting into it. Mm -hmm. um, talk about the tone that you're trying to set for the whole defense? Well, I mean, I mean, my tone was really to just come out and win. You know, my like, when I go out there and play, you know, I'm playing to win. You know, every single time, you know, I just knew the down the distance. I knew it was third down. And I knew we had to get off the field. So, uh, you know, that let me know that it was going to come with something quick. And, um, you know, I reacted real real well, man. And, you know, every time he caught the ball, I laid the boom on him. You had a good year. You had a good year last year, obviously. Yeah. But, um, I mean, like you said, you, you kind of popped off the field in that first yeah. game. What, what do you feel like is, for you, the biggest thing that, that's changed to maybe potentially take this, this leap? This I mean, I, I really don't get caught up in that, yeah. man. I just I get, I just want to win. As a team, man, I just want to win. And I feel like everything else is going to take care of itself. Once you, put, once you put the team before yourself and, you know, you just go out there and do what you do, and everything else is going to come. That's, that's, how, that's how I look at it. For each of you, uh, what were your takeaways from watching UNT on Saturday? Uh, obviously, the team that can't be taking night three, night mm -hmm. and, you know, they look a lot better than they were the last two seasons. 
Uh, I think you just have to come prepared to play for four quarters, you know, 15 minute quarters, you know. And my whole thing is, you know, they love to run the ball. You know, whoever can run the ball, whoever can defend and run the best, whoever tackles the best will win the game. That's always been our, our, our motto. Um, yeah, our theory. So, so opening ACC, question. this is your first ACC game. That kind of brings it up another notch, yes? Or, you know, knowing yeah, that it's ACC. Conference game. game. You, you're exactly right, you know. Can't afford to, uh, to play with these type of games. So, right. you know, we just prepare like we do for every game and, uh, put the work in, you know, earn it. You have to earn it Monday through, you know, Friday to make it worth it on Saturday. Trajan, anything mm -hmm. about this being a conference game? Uh, I mean, we just gonna go out here and play. We're gonna play as a defense, we're gonna play fast. Uh, we're gonna play better than we played last game. That's our goal. Um, just go out there, get turnovers, and let's get this W. That's what we, that's what we concerned about. Great. Thank you Thanks, guys. guys. You